Mister. Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Here we are a couple of weeks into the seventh grade, and I'm finally getting the hang of this whole middle school thing. I find that pretty hard to believe. No, really! I haven't been called Needlehead in days. I finally memorized my locker combination, and look! I've got my quantum physics homework! A day early! I'd say I'd finally hit my stride. But Lloyd, I thought we were a team. I figured you and me'd be screw-ups together for a long time to come. We're still a team, buddy. It's just, instead of a team of two screw-ups, we'll be a team of one screw-up and a guy who's got it all together. Yep, the way things are going, there's pretty much nothing I can't handle. Hey, seventh grade, it's time for the first fall dance! Dance? The dance will be held in the gym, duh, next Saturday night. Please wear something phosphorescent green as the theme for the evening is Romance Under the Waves of Ocean Planet EO7. I came up with that one. Brainy kid has a question or whatever. Must we attend? Look, it's not like mandatory. If you have some twisted desire to be an outcast and have everybody in school laugh and point at you for the next three years, well, just don't come. Jill, yes? Do we have to bring a date? Um, like, see answer above? Guy! <laughs> Thanks for listening! Seventh grade spirit! Woo! I am so shracked. Stupid, lousy dance. <laughs> One minute, I'm king of the world. The next, I'm worrying about dances and girls and dancing with girls, which is what you have to do with those things. You're looking at this all wrong, Lloyd. Ugh, it's going to be sweet. Imagine all the kids to make fun of, the finger foods to throw, the DJ to heckle. This could be the best night of our young lives. I don't know, Eddie. You heard, Brittany. If we don't bring dates, there's going to be laughing and pointing. If we do bring dates, well, that means having to get dates. It's like we're derfed if we do, derfed if we don't. Heads up, Lloyd. Oh, man, that one's gone. Well, go get it, Lloyd. I'm not gonna get it. You get it. Oh, no. You know the rules. The Miss Er always fetches the ball. <sighs> okay, I'm going. Stupid, lousy dance. Who needs this kind of pressure? Find a date, dress up, flop around the gym like a thin bat with its head cut off. <laughs> Some friend making me climb all the way up here. Eddie's just lazy. I agree. Huh? I said I agree. Your friend's throw is way off. Oh, uh, um, he should have been the one to come get the ball, but I'm glad it was you. You, you, me? me? My name's Cindy. What's yours? Look, look, Lloyd. My name's Lloyd. Oh, uh, what's yours? Uh, Cindy, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you go to Luna Vista? I don't know. Do I? I mean, yeah, I do. I sure do. <laughs> me too. I started this week. We just... Come on already. I got homework to do. Oh, I gotta go. I'll see you around. You will? I mean, yeah, see ya. Cindy. Lloyd, get my ball, you doofus. Lloyd, what were you doing up there? Cindy, girl, talking to girl. A real girl? Real pretty girl. And she spoke back to you? Repeatedly. Whoa, that's heavy. So, I uh, suppose you asked her to the big fancy dance, huh? No! Listen up, you evolutionary mishaps, because every word I'm about to say will be on the test, and I'm only going to say it once. Now, spork knots are exactly two times the size of I birds, have made the hugest mistake of my entire life. There it was, my golden opportunity. I could have been a guy with a date to the dance. I could have been back on top. Hey, she was a girl. Your brain freaked out. It's understandable. I'm having trouble breathing just hearing about it, Lloyd. Thanks, guys, but the fact is I blew it. I'm never going to get another chance like that again. Psst. Is one of you Lloyd somebody? Er, uh, that's me. Someone over there handed me, like, a note to give to you from Cindy somebody. Thanks, Brittany. Whatever, needlehead. Wow, a note from Cindy. Wow. Uh, Lloyd, what does Cindy say in the note? Yes, Mr. Nebulon. I'm sure we'd all love to hear what's in your little note. Wouldn't we, class? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Why, thank you, Lloyd. I would love a mint. Mmm, -hmm. most refreshing. Ah, 
If I gave a hoot about your budding little social lives, I'd be furious right now. But, as it is, we've got a test to review for. As I was saying... Kurt, that was some kind of brave. I can't believe this! My very first note from a girl, and it's eaten by one of my friends! Hey, better swallowed by Kurt than read out loud for the whole class. Don't worry, guys. My stomach isn't just for digesting food. It's also my special hiding place. Oh, oh just taste <laughs> Ta-da! One note for Lloyd. Kurt, you rock so hard! Okay, okay, Kurt rocks. Just play the note before something else happens. Good idea! Hi, Lloyd. It's me, Cindy. I'm sitting here in quantum physics class, and boy, is this stuff hard. Hey, Lloyd, aren't you actually passing that class? Shh. And as if school wasn't hard enough, now I hear there's a dance coming up. Yikes, so soon? What's up with that? Yeah, yeah, wrap it up already. Van Cyborg's handed out the quiz. Gotta go. Bye, Lloyd. She seems nice. Could she be any more obvious about that dance? Yes, Lloyd. It would seem an invitation to the dance is the desired response to her missive. I guess you got your second chance after all, Lloyd. Go ahead and die, Lloyd. You can do it. Yeah, you're right. Wrong button, boy. You hung up. I can't do it, Station. I mean, what if I forget how to talk and nothing comes out of my mouth except drool? Nonsense. Once the young lady answers, your gentlemanly instincts will kick in and you'll handle yourself with aplomb. Yeah, yeah, aplomb. Okay, here goes. Again? I'm sorry, my boy, but you leave me no choice. Station, no! Please don't dial your number! I'm not ready to do- Hello? Uh, Nebulon Residence? Who's calling, please? Um, Lloyd? Didn't you call me? Oh, yeah. I guess I did. So, what do you want? <laughs> uh, well, uh... Um... A plum, Lloyd! A plum! Well, I was just wondering, uh, you wouldn't want to go to that, um, dance thing at school or anything, would you? With you? That'd be really neat. Thanks, Lloyd. Really? Wow, that's great, Cindy. Yeah, real great. I'm going to my first dance with a kid who hasn't been able to spit out one coherent sentence since I met him. Uh, Cindy, on the phone it sort of looks like... I mean, am I wrong or do you have two heads? Yeah, didn't you know? I mean, that's not gonna be a problem, is it? It better not be, weasel! <laughs> no, that's fine, really. Just checking is all. My video phone is a little fuzzy. Great. Bye, Lloyd. I'm really looking forward to the dance. I'm not. Well, Cindy certainly seems nice. And not so nice. Man, this dance is gonna be sweet eat. Lloyd might have asked some girl to the dance, but at least the rest of us bouncers are going to have a great time goofing on everybody. Uh, actually, Eddie, I'll be taking a date to the dance as well. Say what? I've asked Charmaine, 3D chess champ of the quadrant, to escort me, and she has graciously agreed. I'll be there with the girl too, Ed. You know Missy? Massive Missy? Exactly! We were both picked to help hang decorations. We're going to stick around to eat, and maybe even dance. Well then, I guess I'll be laughing at all three of you suckers. That is, assuming Cindy told Lloyd yes. There he is now! Let's clear him! Lloyd! Lloyd! Did you ask her? Did you ask her? Oh, oh yeah, I asked her. And? Well, she said she'd go with me. Oh, no! Way to to you. Lloyd. Thanks, guys. What's with the long face? I thought this was your big chance and all. It was. It is. It's just, I kind of found something out about Cindy last night. <gasps> she's not married, is she? No, it's just that she's, well, she's got two heads. Sorry to use the vernacular, Lloyd, but... So? Yeah, Lloyd, I know plenty of two-headed kids. Yeah, I know. I guess that's not really the problem. See, it's just that... Well, looky here! We finally get to meet the great Lloyd Nerbulon in the flesh! Hi, Lloyd. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Um, these are my pals, Kurt, Eddie, and Douglas. I thought you were a loser, Nebulon, but that was before I got a look at your friends. I mean, what planet is this guy from? Hey! And this one's hilarious! When I first saw him, I thought Jumbo here got gum on his shoe. <laughs> That seems a tad uncalled for. Uh, you know what's funny, Cindy? Uh, we were just talking about you. Something nice, I hope. Sure, nothing but nice. Please, this mindless small talk is gonna make me spew. Lloyd, I wanted to thank you again, in person, for asking me to the dance. It's nice to feel like I belong so soon after moving here. Hey, what can I say? I'm a nice guy. Yeah, and not at all full of yourself. Hey, you got a little something on your shirt. Getcha! <laughs> what a sucker! Hi there! Move it, Melvin! You don't own the hallway! Lloyd? You cannot take that girl to the dance. What? She's really nice. 
but horrible! Yeah, but nice first, right? I mean, that one head's really sweet. Snap out of it. The other head's evil. You really think she's that bad? The mean head made me want to cry. Lloyd, as your lifelong friend, I say to you, dump her. Get her on the phone and ditch the date as fast as you can. I can't believe I'm doing this. Well then, I suggest you don't. Station, cut it out! I'm sorry, Lloyd, but it's decidedly ungentlemanly to back out of a social commitment. Why, the young lady won't even have time to get another date. Hey, she's got two heads. She can take herself. Besides, I can't go to a dance with the girl who half hates me. And you should have heard how rude she was to my friends. Rudeness is no excuse for being rude. But out of this station, no matter what you say, I'm canceling that date. Don't do it, Lloyd. It's hello. Why, hello there. Lloyd, I was just thinking about you. <laughs> I was just, uh, thinking about you, too. Um, nice sandwich. Huh? Oh, yeah. My other head's been yelling a bunch, and that always makes me hungry. <laughs> oh, well, I was just, uh, going to ask, that is to tell you that I... That I... That you're really looking forward to the dance? Me, too. I mean, I get to go with the sweetest, cutest, nicest boy in school. Oh, hey! Wow, yeah, that's just what I was gonna say. Well, I, I mean, not the boy part. <laughs> Well, I better get off the phone. I gotta get back to my quantum physics homework. It is so hard. Really? I'm actually way ahead in QP. Wow, Lloyd, you're not just cute. You're really smart, too. Well, it took me a little while to get into it, but then something just clicked. Wow, maybe you could, you know, tutor me sometime? I'd like to click, too. So, I guess I'll see you Saturday? Yeah, Eddie's dad is driving us over to the school in a squad car. Neat! See you then! And wear something besides that little striped shirt for once, huh? Uh, Commander, I'm not certain that a regulation wins or not. And you made it too long! We wore them shorter back in my day. I'm sorry. Maybe one of you would like to tie it for him. Dang it, woman, don't get smart with your old man. He's got no hands, and you know I'm just a hologram. Lloyd, you must be so excited. Your first dance. And what feels like my first ulcer. It's perfectly natural to feel nervous. It's not so much nervous as terrified. I mean, I like Cindy, but her other head's so mean to me. Well, as I recall, if a seventh grade girl picks on a boy, it means she likes him. You don't know Cindy's other head. Well, then why not pay a little more attention to that side of Cindy tonight? Turn on the old Nebulon charm. You don't know me either. <sighs> this tie just isn't working. I'll get your clip on. Lloyd, my boy, handling gals is a piece of cake. Don't listen to your grandpa, Lloyd. He's full of bad advice. Not this time, Nora. I agree with you. Your mom's right, Lloyd. Charm the gal. What good's that gonna do? When you charm them, it's easier to change them. Excuse me, sir, but conventional wisdom holds that trying to change a person really doesn't work. Hooey! I was in the Imperial Galactic Army, and they changed me from a fresh-faced lad to a mindless killing machine. So you're saying if I'm real nice to Cindy's mean head, it might change her? Bingo! It can't fail! Oh, there's our ride, Lloyd. What? This contraption's going to the dance? I volunteered to chaperone. Let's go, Station. I've got one nasty noggin to change. Just as soon as Mom brings me my clip on. Missy and me are just about done hanging the decorations, only we ran out of tape for this last piece. Bummer! Would you mind just standing there and holding it up? Donna, you look totally gorgeous! Here, this'll help. Yeah. It'll grow back overnight. Wow, Missy, you're neat. I used this smite Cornish Open to startle and confuse my opponent, eviscerating him in a swift 79 moves and clinching the Galactic 3D chess title. <laughs> wow, Charmaine, you are neat! I missed Zero Grav Wrestling for this? You watch Zero Grav Wrestling? I love that show! Hey, we've got stuff in common! We're really hitting it off! Why? You like wrestling? It's so violent! Well, it is a little violent, but in a good way. Am I right? Well, there you have it, Station. The first fall dance. Only without any actual dancing. Oh, that's typical. If it stays this way for too long, though, I might have to break the ice with my patented gator dance. I do a fairly wicked worm myself. You got some kind of neck condition? Huh? 
Oh no, I'm just bopping along. I like the song. Me too. Carbon 21 is such a neat band. You like Carbon 21? They're my favorite. Well, I can't stand them. Oh, well, actually, I was just making all that stuff up about them being my favorite. You were? Uh, no, no. Then you weren't? Of course I was not I, uh, I... Good song. How's the old Nebulon charm working, my boy? It's not. It's impossible to hold a conversation with the two of them without upsetting somebody. Ask the girl to dance. Nobody has to converse while they're busy dancing. Well, nothing can be as bad as this. Er, would you, um, I mean, do you want to, I, I don't know, dance or something? I'd love to, Lloyd. Great. Here we go. Clod hopping with Goober. Good luck, Lloyd. You'll need it. When it came time for slow dancing, you don't have a romantic bone in your scrawny green body. Is that so? Miss Cindy, may I have this dance? Oh, brother. Watch my feet, huh? I've grown attached to them over the years. Ow! Sorry. Dance much? Be polite much? How's that? I think you heard me. Boy, you never let up. I've been trying to be nice. I thought you were trying to cripple me. Hey, it's my first dance. Sue me. If there's any permanent damage, you can count on it, buddy. You know, ever since I met you, you've been nothing but rude, obnoxious, and mean. Well, you're no prize either, hotshot. Please, please. There's no reason Stay to... Stay out of this. <gasps> Lloyd, I've never seen this side of you. Well, get used to it. You've been letting your mean head push me around all night. Why can't you make her shut up? Shut up. <laughs> Excuse me? I thought I could change you, but it's no use. I should have just dumped you on the phone when I had the chance. You were gonna dump me? Yeah, but I chickened out. Too bad, because bringing you to the stairs was the worst mistake I ever made. Oh, you heartless jerk. <laughs> Girls, come back! Our dance is ruined. Oh. <laughs> But I didn't know he was a mean jerk. Maybe he was joking. He's very funny. No, shut up. <laughs> Stupid lousy dance. I wish I'd just stayed home. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just... I should have listened to you, Eddie. I should have never asked that girl to the dance. She's been nothing but trouble from the first moment I met her. Ah, uh, she's not so bad. What are you talking about? You're the one who called her a monster. You said I should dump her. Yeah, but, you know, there's always two sides to every story. What? I can't believe you're talking like this. That girl's a menace. She's a... Uh, I never saw such a two-faced freak. I'll say. I mean, one face is all nice and friendly, then a split second later, the other one bites your head off. See? Even they agree with me. No kidding. I mean, I met a lot of two-faced jerks in my life, but that guy takes the cake. Guy? <sighs> yeah, I wonder why Cindy agreed to go with them to the dance in the first place. They were talking about me? Well, if the shoe fits. You agree with those guys? You think I'm a two-faced jerk? Well, sometimes. Like the other day when you ate my french fries without asking, or the time you put that kick me sign on Douglas's back. Funny, but frankly, the act of a jerk. Well, if you think I'm such a jerk, then why do you put up with me? Because you're two-faced, and I like the other face. I mean, everybody's got two sides to them, and your other side's all right. The thing is, if you like somebody, you gotta, I, I don't know, take them for who they are. You know, except both sides. Huh. I never thought of it that way. Now, in the case of that Cindy girl down there, sure, she can be pretty two-faced, but she obviously likes you. So if you like her back, maybe you got to accept both sides, too. Well, who says I like her? You did, Lloyd. <laughs> you know, Cindy, we girls totally have the ability to make sure Lloyd never gets another date at Luna Vista. I don't know, Brittany. That just seems a little too harsh. I don't think it's harsh enough. <clears throat> girls, um... I wonder if Cindy and I could have a few moments alone? You want I should crush him, Cindy? Thanks, girls. I'll take it from here. Hi. Uh-huh. 
Listen, Cindy, the stuff I said on the dance floor, I... I'm sorry. Part of me just started shouting. It was pretty mean. Really mean. And right out there in public, you really are a jerk. Okay, fair enough. I admit it. Sometimes I really am a jerk. The fact is, you were kind of a jerk to me, too. You know, he does have a point. Mm. So I got two sides and you've got two sides. And you know what? I can accept that. Because, well, I like you. So here I am, back at the dance that I ruined, ready to start over. And now the question is, are you ready to start over too? Well... Wanna dance? I thought you'd never ask. Looks like Lloyd and Cindy made up, Douglas. Now I can dance again. Hi, wanna dance? Half girl, half zebra? What the heck? 